are here at National Bureau of Animal Genetic Resources, the scientists of which have established a national gene bank to uh, preserve the uh, somatic cell and the DNAs of the endangered species of the country. We have very large livestock biodiversity in this country. We have many species and many breeds. And you know these breeds they are surviving in very harsh conditions, very high temperature. They have capability of consuming, surviving on low feed fodder and uh, very low water conditions. And you know they are resistant to disease also. But because of many reasons, because of changing agricultural practices and preferences, social reasons, the population of many livestock breed is declining very fast. So it is a national obligation as well as international obligation to preserve them. So with that purpose, we have established a national gene bank. We are conserving the uh, germplasm for use in future for, for the purpose of posterity and for other purposes in various forms. The frozen semen is the most preferred form of germplasm which we have in our gene bank. Beside that, we have conserved it in the form of DNA and uh, epididymal sperms. Uh, we have embryos also and very recently we have started somatic cell banking. Uh, for the uh, livestock breeds. So how many uh, species or how many breeds uh, you have uh, 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 preserved right now? Uh, uh, see, for frozen uh, semen, we have uh, frozen semen of about 47 breeds belonging to about 7 species. We have epididymal sperms of uh, about 3 breeds. We have DNA of almost all breeds in our institute and uh, we have uh, somatic cells of uh, nine breeds. Uh, prioritizing uh, somatic cell for those uh, breeds for which the uh, semen freezing facility or artificial uh, intel uh, sorry, uh, insemination is not well standardized. Parveen Aroda, Tribune Network.